Mum. How many times do I have to tell you, Ian? I don't want to be called Mum. Jan will suffice. Sorry. Jan. And why are you still wearing those ridiculous clothes? You bought them for me? I doubt that. So, have you been? Sex life, fantastic. Job, so-so. Communication from only son, absolutely diabolical. Just the usual. I've been really busy. Don't tell me you're doing another course. You know, the point is to finish one before you start another. What is it this time? Pottery for the left-handed, poetry for the deaf, Peter Pan for the boy who never grew up. It's a survival course. Called... You fucked you up, your mum and dad. Speaking of survivors, your father was caught by his third wife fucking his secondary from behind. And at a party to celebrate his fifth wedding anniversary, no less. I mean, it's becoming predictable, don't you think? You're so like him, you know. Two peas in a pod. Can I get my allowance now, please? Or am I wrong in thinking I'm legally entitled to it? I hear you have another sponger staying. Letting him stay for nothing, are you? No. So you see. He's a friend. Noun. Meaning chum. Companion. Comrade. Confidant. Crony. Playmate. Or soulmate. In case you haven't come across it before. Ian. Name meaning disappointment, discontentment, disenchantment, disillusionment, dissatisfaction, despair, failure, frustration, and regret. It doesn't hurt me anymore. Yes, it does. Though never as much as your father hurt me. You'll always be.